First attack scenario we're going to work with, I'll show you the target first, is a, a nerve right in the inside of the wrist that's called lung number eight. This has to be struck toward the hand to cause the hand to open, to weaken the legs, and to cause pain so you can escape. The man just grabbed onto me. A simple way to do this is to just use your knuckles like you're knocking on someone's door. A quick wrap will drop him right down. I can quickly escape. He's not going to be able to grab me or make a fist with this hand anymore. It's a quick, easy way to escape. Another way to get away from that hand grab is if I don't like to use my knuckles like when women have long fingernails. It's very hard for them to make a fist to get in with that sharp set of knuckles. You can take your whole forearm and strike down to cause physical disruption as well. Okay, sorry. If the man grabs on the opposite side, I can come in with this or I could come in with a chop, again loosening that hand and enabling me to escape and get away. But each time I did that, you'll notice the hand just open. So that's a quick way to escape using that pressure point. Okay. Using the same pressure point, lung number eight, in the wrist. If I, uh, a male to a female um, grab, you can work that just by pressing into it. What I need to do is pull it toward the hand to quickly release and drop the body. Again, I can escape, or we can show you another technique a little later in the film that can help you um, disable the person even further. Person grabs on with two hands. It's easy just to grab two hands. Now, with both nerves, it's very hard for him to hold on. I can still escape with this. Another scenario, say if the person came from around back, if I get my hand on that point, I can just weaken the arm and pull that hand off. At that point, you can back off, you can kick, many different scenarios you can work with. So again, lung eight is really nice for escape as well. Another idea if a man-to-man um, -man situation more than a grab, if the person threw a punch at us using the same pressure point of lung point number eight. As the punch comes in this time, I can knuckle that, open the hand, dysfunction, and you can see that his legs were having trouble, he was having trouble standing there, and you can get away from that as well. If he came in and I don't use, like to use my knuckles because maybe I'm female, I got my nails, or just I'm not used to using my knuckles, what I could use is my forearm again. He comes in with the punch and I just hit it to relax that hand and cause the, the pain and the dysfunction as well. Okay? So there's many different ways you can utilize this, this pressure point to help you in a quick self-defense situation. The man grabbed my, my gi, I hit this as well. When he goes to grab it, it makes his muscles tighter, it weakens the nerve more, so it's a quick, easy fix just by striking down on the arm. Again, as I was saying, if you work with the open hands, it protects you a little bit better. You could say you're stopping the person, trying to stop their attack. You're trying to push them away from you. You're not using a fisted method to, like, attack. When uh, an onlooker is watching, someone's videoing for YouTube, okay, it doesn't look like you threw the attack. It looks like you were trying to protect yourself more self-defensive. So it's very important to use. Again, with the ladies, the fisted position is not a natural thing for them to do. Much more inclined to do open hand strikes. The open hand is a very powerful concept, it's a very powerful tool, so let's just use it a little bit more on some other targets. Right by the eye, right at the corner of the eyebrow and in the corner of the eye, we have two more nerves that we just need to slap. Now when you slap this, you don't slap it hard. What you need to do is give it a quick slap like you're just slapping off the, guy, the corner of the guy's eye. And what will happen is it just neurologically shocks them. So a slight tap, okay, you can start to see that they, they shock. They turn also, which is good because I've disappeared from his line of vision, I can be out of there, okay? Or I could escalate if I had to.
So if the person went to grab me, okay, just an easy turn of the head, that could make me escape. At that time, I could also hit the nerve on the arm that I showed earlier, and we can move right away. So if the person grabs two hands, slap to get the neurological reaction, hit down to get away from the, the wrist point and the grab on that side. At that side, you can also use an elbow to make your escape. It's very quick, very easy. Another situation that you could be grabbed or moved into is a person comes in with a, a, a hook punch. As I do that, I say, stop, okay? Or if he comes in, you say something like, please don't hit me. It could also be used as a preemptive attack. We have an escalation coming up. I can see he's starting to fidget around. I see something's going to happen. And I say, are you okay? Okay, and go right into this and make him neurologically shut down in a very quick time. These two points are invaluable. They turn the head, they cause neurological shock. If you could grab on, sir, boom. I do this, now he's dizzy, can't see out of that one eye because it takes the vision away a little bit as well, and it's a quick way to escape. If a person is really angered, the man's really angered at me and he goes to grab me and wrench me up in this kind of situation and pull me up to show me his teeth or something, it's very easy to just slap one of those two or I could slap both at the same time as a way to protect myself. So if he grabbed, I could say, stop, okay? Or I could just be moving, please, don't, okay? And cause a neurological dysfunction. That way I can escape because once you hit these points, the hands spring open. So if he grabbed, just a little, little bit of a hit, He's getting a little dizzy, <laughs> and that's all you really need to do. Now, I'm not hitting these hard because it's a slap in the face and it's kind of offensive, but you can get the idea of the, the, the action. The person um, throws in a, a hand strike, uh, whatever, okay? I could say, please, don't hit me, and move to the side. Again, blinding him, okay, and getting me out of the way of the attack, at the same time affecting his neurological system. Now, the, the meaner he gets at me, or the more intent he throws, the harder the attack goes to him. So if he comes in with a strike, and I just strike, oh. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Now, I'm sorry I'm smiling. That's not a nice thing to do to a person after you knock them on the floor. But this stuff still amazes me. Okay? Yeah. What did that feel like? Oh, like a lightning bolt went through me. I'm sure you could see that there was no way he was going to physically alter his uh, motion and attack me again. There was just a quick stop. I was trying to block his hand. If anybody was looking, all I did, tried to do was stop his hand. His head just, I just happened to hit his head by mistake. Self-defense. <laughs>